This demo will show you how to run a performance dashboard for Apache Spark. We will use the tooling and instructions available at the repository shown in the video. First, a quick recap of the architecture. Spark driver and executors collect workload metrics and sync them to a Graphite endpoint into an InfluxDB instance. Metrics are visualized using Grafana dashboards that read from InfluxDB. The dashboard infrastructure components, namely InfluxDB and Grafana, we run in a Docker container that you can start as highlighted here. I've added additional configuration to the Spark jobs used for this demo to configure when and how to sync the metrics. You can see the configuration highlighted here, and also added additional configuration for annotation for query job and stage ID start type. I've used plugins uh, from the repository shown here to extend Spark instrumentation with metrics for Kubernetes and Cloud5 systems. Spark plugins require additional configuration as shown in the repository here. Here you can see one of the provided dashboards. In the background, Spark 311 with 12 executions on a, Kubernetes, on a Kubernetes cluster is running the TPCDS benchmark at scale 1,500. Use the drop down to select the user and application ID you want to monitor. During this demo, you will see real time data refresh every 10 seconds. The controls on the top right of the dashboard allow you to change the time interval and the refresh rate. The first set of gauges that we want to look at show cumulative values for metrics of interest, such as task runtime, CPU usage, garbage collection, metrics for tasks and jobs, details, uh, metrics for uh, the memory usage, metrics for IO. This gauge here shows the uh, number of active tasks that is, uh, that is at the current uh, moment in time. Graphs of metrics values as a function of time are useful to understand how the workload evolves. Number of active tasks is particularly important as it shows you how Spark is able to parallelize the workload and to highlight periods of time where this doesn't happen, which could be due to long execution tails, stragglers, suboptimal partitioning, partition skew, and several other causes. As you can see, as I hover on top of the graphs, the details of the metrics values per executor appear. CPU usage is also very important to understand how the workload evolves. Garbage collection is shown here. This graph summarizes how the executor task runtime breaks down in terms of CPU usage, garbage collection, serialization, also uninstrumented time, which is typically I.O. and other components. We have here uh, metrics about the memory usage. You can see JVM on IP memory, then a unified memory in Spark, divided in executor, execution and storage memory. Then there is the driver memory here. Then you have metrics for Spark I.O., HDFS I.O., and Shuffle I.O. An additional set of metrics that is very useful uh, for uh, running Spark on Kubernetes comes from the plugin instrumentation with C groups. Uh, this graph shows the CPU used uh, measured directly from the pods. Here you would see the uh, CPU used by Spark, and in case we were using PySpark, that would also be displayed here. Then you have uh, the metrics for network um, bytes that come into the pods. This includes the I.O. Uh, reads that we are doing and also uh, part of the shuffle. You can see here, and this is a network uh, bytes that go out, also contains part of the shuffle and data transfer towards the, uh, the driver from the executors. And we have metrics for uh, memory. An additional set of metrics are about the cloud storage. If you're using, for example, S3 or any other Hadoop compatible file system, you can uh, measure here the, uh, the throughput in terms of bytes read and written and uh, read and write operations. I want to show you an additional instrumentation that has to do about uh, with annotations. Here we can see what, when the queries are, have started for the, for example, the last interval of 15 minutes. The last query that started and we are measuring is query 99. So we can go to the uh, web UI and see the details of the query 99. Here is, is the plan. This makes a link between uh, the uh, dashboard instrumentation and the standard web UI instrumentation. This ends our short tour of the Spark dashboard. I hope you find this useful and I wish you good luck with your Spark performance troubleshooting.